version of the game is called Street 20 and it can be played almost anywhere. It's proving really popular in towns and cities where a perfect pitch isn't always just around the corner and there's not a cucumber sandwich in sight. There's a big ethnic community in London and there's a big estate community in London. So one thing we spoke about is where we can get young people playing cricket who may want to play cricket but not necessarily be able to afford to go to a big club. You can play this anywhere. You can play it on the street, you can play it on the grass, you can play it in a cage, you can play it in a school, in a playground. It's really simple, it's really easy and most importantly it's really fun. What other like, quality skills do you think they get out of it in terms of how, how do they become better people through the sport? We change captains every go and to have the chance to lead a group of young people, particularly your peers, in an environment now where there's a lot of hostility, there's a lot of issues with young people. These, this is an example that young people are great role models. So that's the people. Yep. What about the rules? Well, I could tell you about the rules, but I know a few guys who may know a bit more than I do. There are six players on a team. You only need a bat and a ball. You can play anywhere. There are 20 balls for each side. Everyone bats and everyone bowls. You can bowl overarm or underarm. <laughs> this ball is great fun. The inclusiveness, everyone's got a smile on their face. You've got different backgrounds, different ages, different sexes. A complete mixed group of people here. Steven, do you want to have a bowl? I'm bowling. I'll tell you about it later. Oh, lovely bowling. Catch! Catch. Ah. Like all great sports, Street 20 has some serious competitions. These youngsters are headed towards Lord's Cricket Ground for the Inner City World Cup. Once a year, the most famous cricket ground in the world plays host to Street 20's biggest competition. There are eight teams here today, and the players are representing the countries their parents come from. So there's a lot of national pride at stake. How does it feel being here today? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's always been like a dream of mine. I'm really nervous. It's like, it's hello, turf and laws. I mean, we've got to up our game and live up to the standards. My mates will be really jealous of me, I'm sure. <laughs> You're here representing West Indies for your team. How did you feel about that? Like, over the moon, because I've always wanted to play for the West Indies. Maybe, hopefully, in the near future, I could play for them. From the teams that started, four made it through to the semi-finals. Two close matches saw the West Indies and Bangladesh meeting in the final. Bangladesh came out on top. So after a great tournament, all the teams have mixed themselves up and they've gone back to playing for fun, which is what Street 20 is all about.